What's up guys, welcome back to the Rebel Chomp channel. Today we are looking at this awesome Katana inspired lightsaber. Specifications are showing up now. Let's take a look at what you get for this lightsaber when you purchase it. It comes in the empty hilt kit, so it's basically meant for guys and girls that want to install their own electronics or send it off to a saber smith. <coughs> Me for example to have it installed with the electronics of your choice. Um, a really beautiful lightsaber. I hope you like the specifications that are now showing up and um, yeah definitely check out to get this lightsaber yourself but before you do so, before you make the decision, we're going to take a close up look so I'm going to bring in the camera and we're going to see how it looks from close up. Okay guys we're back and now we're looking at this lightsaber, we're going to take a really close up look and uh, it's a really beautiful lightsaber, I love the wrapping, I love the string ray uh, grip underneath, poking through it, um, has this uh, really traditional type of Japanese wrapping. I'm of course an illiterate with all these uh, terms in Japanese, so forgive me, I don't know how to pronounce those, <laughs> so I'm not going to do it. Um, we're going to start with the emitter, so I bring up the camera really close and we're going to have a nice peek at that slanted emitter. A nice glossy piano black, it has a retention screw on the top, so um, you can uh, have a nice grip on your lightsaber. And the slant itself is really nice, it's a, it's a pretty uh, intense slant. And it uh, really complements to having that really Japanese uh, katana sword type of feel to this lightsaber, to me at least. And uh, we're going to take a look at inside the lightsaber and you can see this one actually has a stringlet connector in there. So we're going to show that off in a second. And um, we can uh, take a look at the wrapping of the body. You can see it's a recess, so we have the milled body here with a recess for the stingray grip. So if you want to rewrap this thing with a different color of wrapping and a different uh, color of stingray, you can do so because it's already recessed for you. And having the recess in this hilt actually allows you to have that really nice oval hilt grip. It really feels nice with the flat sides. It's just one of my preferences for lightsabers in general is oval hilts uh, that just feels so, so good. And then we have, if you can see poking through, we have uh, two retention screws to keep the hilt in place and also two switches. And that was a bit of a trick here and that <laughs> I hope I did not uh, let your ears bleed, but this lightsaber is super loud. It's a really good pommel design and it's just, this saber is insanely loud. Um, so moving a bit down uh, at the wrapping, we're getting to the knot. And the knot dictates we are at the end of the lightsaber. So we have an inhaled recharge port with a copper tech wheel. I do believe when you get this lightsaber hilt, you will not have the CoverTech view included. I believe uh, because these hilts are made for you to install electronics as you desire yourself. This is just a sample version and we have the pommel. I'm gonna unscrew the pommel and we're gonna take a look at that pommel design here. And we're gonna put it down for a second. And here is the pommel, nice uh, amount of threads there, nice clean threads, no uh, burrs or whatnot it has a hole here and the hole is for a um, yeah I don't know how to pronounce it properly and uh, an, 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 an o-ring nipple that basically spokes out and you have a little ring so you can carry this lightsaber off your belt now I'm gonna not go into much in details of what is actually in terms of electronics in this hilt because these lightsabers meant to be sold empty so the electronics in this hilt don't really matter but I'm just gonna show off so you have a bit of an idea what you're gonna get when you buy this lightsaber for your own insults and um, what I also like is you can see there is a pattern in this hilt and uh, I really like that the black slits here that are vertically over the entire length of the hilt and then poking through the wrapping and uh, I think that really adds a bit of additional flavor to this lightsaber. I really like that. And if you want so, this uh, emitter also is removable, which is another plus. So if you want to be Kanan Jarrus, you can actually do that. Uh, for whatever reason, uh, for your install or whatnot, you could do that. So this is the emitter section. Really nice. 
see a nice uh, socket there. So you have a nice, uh, I think a good one half inch, one, 1.25 uh, inch blade depth uh, at the socket for your uh, blade to insert. Um, it has a nice heft to it as well. It feels really nice and beefy, this lightsaber. And overall, a really awesome lightsaber. So what we're gonna do next, I'm gonna flip over the camera and we're gonna go to the verdict of this lightsaber. What is my opinion about this beautiful lightsaber? Everybody, sorry to interrupt the review video like this, but if you are interested in picking up this lightsaber for yourself from the Path Store, you might want to consider getting $5 off by using my promo code REBELC. To use this code, you go to the pockstore.com website and you go to this lightsaber and you fill in the code in your order details and you will get $5 off. I definitely recommend getting the $5 off. Let's go back to the review. And welcome back. So I really hope you like the close-up view of this lightsaber. As you see, it's full of details. It's, it's completely packed with details. What I really like about it is a few things. So first of all, it's sold as an empty kit. So you can install it with any electronics of your liking, but it will come pre-wrapped. So you will get it with this red wrapping, with the Stingray in inlay, it will come like this shipped to you. And uh, I really enjoy that because uh, wrapping, uh, make, doing the wrapping like this is not easy. It takes a lot of practice and patience to actually get it wrapped in this way, uh, tight and uh, snug. And because it's wrapped in this way, it's just like a Japanese katana and there's a few good benefits to having it wrapped through this way. So leather uh, wrapping sometimes gets sticky and smelly. And with this kind of wrap, it always allows you to have a superb grip. So if you're gonna do heavy dueling with this lightsaber, you have heavy dueling in mind, or just in general, you have sweaty hands like me, my hands are always greasy and sweaty, having lightsaber that is wrapped in this particular way is gonna help tremendously uh, with your uh, grip because you can't lose the grip of this lightsaber. It's just so secure in your hands. And then it's really important if you go do heavy dueling or maybe even spinning lightsabers, um, having that really good tight grip on there it's it's going to be really important factor for you and it just looks amazing it looks like a, a, a cantana had love with a, an, a, an actual sword of that pool in this uh, particular color configuration i really dig it i love the slanted emitter it just looks really amazing um, it has this strong rom coda feel to it uh, yet it's definitely very japanese katana inspired so it's definitely having its really unique mix of multiple lightsaber designs in there and uh yeah it just feels good two-handed nice beefy grip which i always like i like beefy grips because it feels like a real lightsaber to me i don't like when lightsabers are super thin um so yeah, guys, I hope you really enjoyed this uh, video. Let me know in the comments what you think about it and uh, what, what kind of blade would you put actually in this lightsaber and maybe you own one. Let me know in the comments how did you set it up? Did you do a different wrapping? Uh, I, I can definitely see this with a ripper blade, uh, katana style uh, blade in there. Uh, that will just be amazing balls. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope to see you in the next video and as always, stay scummy.